Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. I say welcome to this day, let us commit together. Today I'm meditating upon, be a light to someone else's life. Before we start, two scripture talks about in this topic. First Kings chapter 19, verse 11 to 12. And he said, Go out and stand on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke it in pieces. The rock before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, the sound of a low whisper. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. We seem to have so many bells and chimes in our lives, whether the microwave is letting us know that the homemade chicken nuggets are ready or our car is beeping to tell us that our seatbelt is unbuckled or that extremely annoying wake-up sound coming from our alarm clock or is piercing through the dark bedroom to jaw us from our morning slum- from our slumber. Our lives are surrounded by noises and alarms. In several different passages, the scripture describes how someone heard God. In some instances, it was a booming sound like a thunder and in others, a still small voice. Have you ever heard that gentle whisper calling you like Elijah heard in 1 Kings 19, verse 12? God can call us in many different ways. He may be calling to you to minister a friend going through a tough season in his or her life. He may be calling you to a new profession where people may be waiting for your arrival to learn about his works in your life. God can use medical doctors to serve those who cannot afford the treatment contractors to build a school in poverty-stricken country, or a lawn care worker to cut the grass of an elderly widow in the neighborhood. He might be calling you to establish a new business and create new opportunities for others. Whatever your talent might be, God can use it to bless others. The important thing is to listen to his voice, just like the microwave beeping that is ready. He is calling us to be a light of someone else's life. You may be feeling alone, but you are not alone. He is right beside you, or may be ahead of you, to prepare the way to bless someone to carry the other side of the world. So today, take one more step forward to bless others from what you have received through Him. Don't hit the snooze button. It is time to wake and start your work. This message also gives a promise for you today. The promise is, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Let's close time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God. Lord, refresh my soul and fill me with the Holy Spirit so I can receive the motivation and energy to serve you and fulfill the promise of my life. And be a light to cancel the sorrow of darkness in others' lives. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Help us, dear one, if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.